the latest dietary guidelines recommend consuming less than 200 mg of cholesterol per day for individuals at high risk of cardiovascular disease. Given that it's the number one cause of death in America, that's a pretty sizable chunk of the population. But if the limit was 200, then how could people ever eat eggs? A single jumbo egg, 234. So you could eat just like celery for the whole rest of the day and still be over the limit. When the guidelines say limit cholesterol, that's code for limit eggs and chicken, by far the two largest sources of cholesterol in the American diet. Now the egg industry argues that the dietary guidelines should avoid any inference that Americans should consume fewer eggs, an inference that would be misleading to the average consumer. Seems to me limit cholesterol is what's misleading. Consume fewer eggs would actually be pretty straightforward. Instead of reduce intake of sugar-sweetened beverages, uh, what, uh, two cans of Coke instead of three? How about avoid sugar-sweetened beverages? Uh, these are, after all, supposed to be you know, dietary guidelines. In the minds of food corporations, though, there's no such thing as a bad food, just bad dietary patterns. We have to get off this good food, bad food dichotomy. This coming from the Salt Institute, which represents pure salt. Instead, argues the Salt Institute president, focus on dietary patterns to derail the biggest deception and misdirection that has been undertaken by those who would have Americans believe that a single nutrient, a single food, or even a single meal has any health consequences whatsoever. In the same vein, Cadbury. Yes, that Cadbury complained that the Dietary Guidelines Committee had the gall to recommend less frequent consumption of sugar-containing foods. See, we should recognize, they say, that current lifestyles in the United States are not conducive to supporting a less frequent consumption of these foods.